Hey there guys and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered. I hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far. I've definitely enjoyed playing through it and um, it's been a great experience to dive back into this game. So the objective of this video, um, we're currently on to the next quest. We need to make our way down to this point here. Um, the next quest is to curse the darkness. So what we're going to do, if we go down to here, we grab a mount, we can jump on the back of it and then we can ride our way down to the next quest. So, let's hop over and get this mount. I'll do some time cuts in between, guys, so you don't just see me uh, running for the next five minutes. Otherwise, that won't make for a very interesting video. Um, let's just grab some of this stuff here. More metal shards. So, like I said, we'll grab a mount and we'll make our way down to the next quest. So, let's grab this guy here. If we whistle, he should just come walking over to us. Okay. That's a really handy perk that I unlocked on my skill tree. Uh, you can whistle and it brings over different machines. You can single them, single them out individually. So, we're going to override this guy. I'm going to need you. Okay, perfect. Then we're going to jump on the back. Then we're going to set the waypoint down here. And then we're going to make our way down there where we need to go. So we're going to turn around. And we're going to start making our way over here. Okay, guys, like I said, I'll do some uh, time jumps in between. Oh, what's that big spire over there? That looks interesting. Yeah, we'll do some time jumps in between, guys. So it's not just uh, 20 minutes of me running. Okay, let's keep making our way over this bridge. I love this beautiful kind of lush greenery on top of the uh, kind of desert rock. It looks kind of cool. Okay, over this bridge here. Got another thousand uh, meters to go or so. Okay, over this bridge. Looks like we've got some sort of watchtower over here. got some machines they shouldn't give us much trouble we just run straight past them okay um oh there's a big guy oh there's some big guys over here yeah i don't want to mess with those <laughs> they look like they will cause us some trouble okay i can get out of this hey i don't like the sounds they're making it makes me feel nervous Alright, let's just cut straight across here. And whereabouts are we on the map? So we haven't got too much further to go, just down here. Okay, another 500 uh, meters or so to go. Yeah, man, look at this. Like, this scenery just looks really, really nice. It just makes you want to kind of explore and... Just kind of chill out here next to the river. It's really kind of uh, chill vibes in this kind of environment. Beautiful to look at. Whoa. Sorry, guys. Am I going the wrong way here? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way here. Okay, we need to turn around. Okay, about this way. Okay, keep following this around the river. Down this way, try to avoid the machines if possible. Okay, I think we missed our turning. Let's go back up this way. We need to make our way through this cavern up here by the look of it. I need to find a fox skin as well. I've been looking for a fox skin. It's part of a recipe uh, for some... I want to unlock the permanent fast travel option. And you need to have a fox skin. But I haven't seen a fox yet, so... I remember seeing one at the very beginning of the first episode, a fox, but I haven't seen one since. Just stay out of their way for now. Oh, look at this. 
Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. Oh, some really nice uh, waterfalls here. This kind of nice creek here. I just want to kind of explore this for a second. Let's just jump off here for a sec. Look at this. This is so chill. I could literally just, like, grab some lunch, sit on a rock, enjoy the scenery, have some lunch here, just chill out. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. We could admire the scenery all day long. <laughs> okay, I think we're at our destination. So, we want to jump off our mount here. We want to make our way up. Make our way up here. Did you get that silence? No? Fitting name you got there. Okay, let's traverse up this rock. Hopefully there's something up here. All right, what now? You wait, that's what. Take a seat at the campfire and rest. When night falls, we'll talk. Okay. And they still have a fire to keep me company. Okay, so let's uh, save it here. How nice of you to finally drop by. Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. Wait, what? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But it is the case that I assisted the Eclipse before I sensed the threat they might become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. Okay, he's uh, laying down the law. <laughs> so, infiltrate the Eclipse base. Okay, so is it through here we want to go? Let's see what's through here. Oh, okay. We're gonna crouch our way. Silent strike. You have to get past them. Okay. The back way in. I didn't say it'd be easy. Okay, this could be a bit tricky here, so we need to be careful. Um, okay. Let's grab metal shards while we're going. The more shards, the better. Take out. Let's scan the path so we know which direction it's going. Okay, silent strike. Take it down. Stealth kill. Oh shit, we did it right in front of that guy. Okay, he's been alerted. Oh god, oh god, they're all coming over. Oh, they found us. Okay, here we go. This could be tricky here. Oh, there's a big guy right there. Oh god, this isn't going well right now. Oh god, it keeps doing this like blast wave. See what I mean? It keeps like smashing the floor and blasting. Whoa! What just happened? We just glitched through the floor. Okay, now I'm stuck on this rock. Um. How exactly am I supposed to get back up there? Uh, I have no idea what I'm meant to do right now. Okay, let's just jump off. Let's just uh, let's just uh, go back to the last checkpoint. That was so weird. It just completely glitched me through the 
through the floor and I landed on the side of that mountain and I couldn't there was nothing I could do there. Gonna be tight. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we've got a lot of machines here. Building reserve for war yet to come. Okay, we're gonna be to need to be nice and stealthy here. Let's whistle him over. And we'll stealth kill him. Okay. That was fairly easy. There's another guy here. Right, let's whistle him over. Let's try and take this guy out as well. I'm not sure if it'll be a... Oh, God, there's another guy behind him. Oh, crap, there's two of them. Okay, hide, 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 hide. And take him out. Okay, shit, we've been alerted. Oh god, here we go. Whoa, he's flashbanged me. Oh shit. They're shooting some sort of fireballs at me. I'm not really sure what's going on. Okay, he's down. Okay, um, I want to get my improved arrows here. I want to hit those things on the back. Okay, we need to make our way up over here. Okay, how do we get up there? I don't know how to get up. Um, okay, let's craft some more arrows. We're going to need them. Keep making our way up here. Okay, luckily we took most of his health down. Let's just grab all his loot. Well, quiet, does it? Infiltrate the Eclipse base. Um, I'm not exactly sure which direction I'm supposed to be going right now. Do we want to go up here? No? There's yellow cables over here. The yellow cables. Um, okay, give me a second, guys. I need to figure this out. So let me pull up the map. We want to get over to there. So let's go down this way. Okay, take out this guy. Okay, let's jump over here. So how do we get over this way? Do we just walk around here? Yeah, we just... no. Um... We do need to get up here. We've got these yellow cables that go... We're going down fast. Okay. Over this way, perhaps? It looks like we made it. Okay. Up here. We jump up. Okay. Keep scooting along. I think we found the right way to go here. Nope. No, no, no. We want to go back. That way. That way. Keep moving around. Oh. Keep jumping around. Keep jumping around. Keep jumping around. Okay, Explosions looks like. In the Pay them no mind. Doesn't concern you. Okay, we did a self kill. Literally just got that self kill there. Oh shit! Okay, he's down. Stay 
stealth kill on this guy. Let's stealth kill as many as we can. Okay, that's another one down. Oh shit, they've discovered us. Okay, we can take this guy. Oh god, he's giving us trouble. Okay, we got him. Right, let's keep making our way. We're corrupted right now. It's not good. Okay, let's keep making our way over here. Getting close now. Head for that ridge. Heading for the ridge. Roger that. The tall neck's just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. You need to get in and get it done before they raise an alarm. Here we go. You getting this? I see the legs of a tall neck down there, but no tall neck. Damn. The transmit has been moved. Check down the ravine to the left. Only place it could be. So much for your insider knowledge. Toward the explosions. Great. You got exactly one shot at this Aloy, so spare the sarcasm and make it count. You see that bridge over the ravine? Yep. Memorize its location. There's a repel point on the side. That'll be your way out. And these Eclipse troopers? Avoid them or kill them, your choice. The blasting should cover any noise you make. Find the tall neck and destroy the module on top. Here we go. Endless digging, endless okay, um, endless waiting. let's try and stealth kill them if we can. I want Meridian. The problem is, when there's two of them, it's hard to obviously stealth kill them because you always get alerted. So, uh, search, search for the derelict tall neck. Okay, we got him. Easy done. All right. Uh, Get ready for the shadow sting. Shadow take you. Oh, missed. Okay. I'm really bad at shooting arrows in this game. <laughs> Oh, just die, mate. Doing my head in now. Headshot. Headshot. Level 20 reached. Okay, cool. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a mining operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh, good. Another secret. Okay, what's over here? Got a supply crate. Rich meat. Uh, fatty meat. I definitely need fatty meat. Um, okay. What is this place? The destruction. There are several different Ceremonial armor. Dye plumage and lacquered metal plates of unknown origin. Dimensions suggest wearer of a large build. Okay. So, where do we want to go here? Um... Search for the derelict tool neck. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's scan these. Okay, we've got all these different data points here. And we have a supply box here. Let's definitely grab that. Okay, so if we go have a plant here. Saving these for the trail. So it's telling us to go this way. Oh, we can push it. Okay. He's a fanatic, all right. Okay, we'll make our way over here. It gives him a focus that he seems to lack. Now, how about finding that tall neck? Would not be easy to drag a tall neck down. Why bother? Just find it and get to the top. Destroy the module and then get out fast as you can. Roger that. Sure is a lot of blasting up there. Sounds busy. 
Busy enough not to notice you, let's hope. I see it. They've built some kind of structure around it. Here it is. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. This feels wrong. Everything here is wrong. Just get to the module and destroy it. God, this guy's quite bossy, isn't he? <laughs> okay, we're on top. I see the module. Good. Now be quick. This. This is Hades. Aloy, hey, this is not the time. It's a metal devil. Open the module's casing now. Aloy. Hey, do as I say or all is lost. Entity has come here. Entity miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are. But this isn't! Destroy the entity. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We've got a Deathbringer after us. This is all kinds of crazy right now. Ah! I'm really not sure which direction I'm meant to be going. I'm just kind of... Yeah, you think? I'm kind of winging it right now. What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Okay, up here. On this bit. Keep, keep, let's keep going, let's keep going. We're getting missiles and all kinds of things shot at us right now. This is really kind of intense. Ah. Out of it. Come on. Don't fight. Run. Keep it moving. Oh god, we're getting shot with arrows. We've got a death bringer on us. I don't think think Whoa, what the fudge? Got it. Almost there. The whole base is covered. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, just keep it moving, keep it moving, keep it moving. Repel down. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting you with secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. 
We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. Let's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... Damn him. Okay, completed main quest to curse the darkness. And be rid of you, Silence, I would. But we both know I need it. Sunfall it is. And Zero Dawn. Okay, so we've taken down the focus network, and uh, now we can start to unravel the secrets of Zero Dawn. So Zero Dawn was a super weapon used in the past, and um, it was used to stop the machine uprising, basically. Because uh, the machine trajectory, they were going to basically overtake the Earth, and uh, they fuel themselves by eating biomass. And uh, Dr. Elizabeth Sobek um, used uh, Zero Dawn, a super weapon, to stop the machine uprising. So, uh, it's pretty interesting to see how this is going to pan out. So, where do we need to go next? Um, we need to go all the way up here. Wow, we've got a long, long way to go here. Do we have any fast travel kits? We don't. So, okay guys, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to travel up to, uh, this point here. And then, uh, once we get up to the next point here where the quest is, um, we can resume the video and uh, continue with the next quest. So I'll see you guys up here at this point once I arrive there. Okay guys, so we're about 300 uh, meters away from the next quest. Deep Secrets of the Earth. No idea what we have in store for us here, but uh, let's get to it. We're in the desert at the moment by the look of it. Got a sandstorm blowing up here. Okay, so we're just going up Sunfall. here. Sunfall. The Mad King Duran's summer palace. A bulwark of cards you might against the howling from the quest. Okay, let's get this fireplace. Let's history lesson. But they have no... Let's save it here. ...what lies beneath. We will learn much from this Aloy. I very much doubt it. That's what I'm hoping. Ceasefire of a new... Okay, go to the cit Citadel Courtyard. Okay. Now we've got a supply box here. Let's grab that. The Sun Ring, the proud tradition of the Kaja. It's not like this in Meridian, at least, not anymore. Give them time. I'm sure that now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. <laughs> Success. Welcome to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. He's head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Okay, we're making our way inside the, are just the main citadel here. I hear the shadow conjurer looking. Okay, well. By the glory of the sun revealed, behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow. Whose will is light, and whose light is law! I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Many, and so mm. the ire of Love the your hair. Full blaze. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little Huntress. The green the tent king. down in Shadowside. But he refused I'll to be surrender waiting. when discovered kind of busy. and fled. And in doing so, demonstrated wanton disregard for the safety of the king's subjects. We both know you're no for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me, while there's still time to save him. The will of the sun. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. 
You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring. Okay, traitor's bounty. Um, that's a new side quest. Ha! Ah, they want us to see this, boy. It makes quite an impression. This is insane. Hardly. They're going to see me. You underestimate the ease of hiding in plain sight. Okay, so it looks like we need to jump across the these rocks. It's a short drop from there. Okay. Oh, this looks really, really uh, not safe. Let's go. Hop, hop, hop. And jump. Okay, so far so good. Okay. Jump down here. Keep making our way down. We're lucky that she's uh, the other side of the tower. pretty fit Look to be able to do this. Okay, we want to <coughs> jump down here. Okay. Okay, examine. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. <laughs> I didn't ask you all for the I won't tolerate whining. God, this guy, mate, he's a he's a real uh, he's a real character. This guy, isn't he? Okay, uh, enter. I won't tolerate whining. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Okay, here we go. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the Savage East. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the Earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identiscan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you Malfunction. Kidding me? You don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. I underestimated you. But now I... Of everything that will draw attention we won't have this place to ourselves for long now <laughs> we last i checked i was the one whisking my life down here yes fine now will you please get moving there's so much to learn in less time than i'd hoped <sighs> welcome to project zero dawn zero dawn we found it are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entry. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message regarding the... What? What was this place? A holographic theater. ZD-01 data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris. 
Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. The Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program. The technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague. If Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. Out. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. The mystery deepens here, guys. It was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. So, yeah, I mean, we're slowly uncover uh, uncovering the mystery here. So, uh, Horizon Zero, uh, so Zero, Project Zero Dawn uh, wasn't a super weapons program. The Pharaoh Plague spread, and uh, it looked like life on Earth was going to cease to exist. But for some reason, Dr. Elizabeth Sobek stopped it. So, we still need to find out how she stopped it. Kestrels. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? Okay, we have... Another data point here. There is some mistake. Supply crate. I don't understand why it was brought here. Why would you show me these things? I know that there's already a lot to take in. I was seated with a noble lord. Oh shit, this guy's... Let this bring me victory! In the waiting area, I was seated with a noble laureate in physics and a monk. Okay, taking him out. We've got his weapon. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay. The data points. What do they contain? Okay, let's just grab the loot here quickly. Yeah, so it's definitely a mystery as to how the extinction was stopped. Because um, the robots consumed the biomass, they would have taken the entire planet. And it would have just been left kind of lifeless and barren. But for some reason, humans still managed to survive. So, how exactly did they manage to survive? Okay, um, let's get through this door here. CD02 data intact. Initiating playback. 
us a bit so back. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. So, the whole earth destroyed, but then remade? Yes, by a machine, a machine of creation. Elizabeth. For life, for us. But why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? And why does it want to kill me? And Apollo, the archive of knowledge, what happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. Maybe the answers lie ahead. Okay guys, so part of the mystery here has been unraveled that they had Gaia, this super intelligent AI who kind of reseeded the world um, and kind of brought the biosphere back to a livable condition, kind of cleaned up the atmosphere, the, the water and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, part of the mystery has been unraveled. That's pretty cool. Let's go through and uh, see if we can continue to learn more here. Okay, let's make Intruder! our... 
Get her! Oh. Oh. Whatever you do, don't die now. Okay, die. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, take these guys out. Pick up the fire starter. Okay. Let's loot these guys. Uh, see if they've got anything valuable here. Oh, I didn't want to pick that up. This weapon is bizarre, man. It's like it's been ripped off a machine or something. Okay. Um, shock trap. That's not handy. Um, metal shards. We'll take that. You had nearly 50 metal shards. Wow. Okay. We'll keep making our way through the facility here. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Okay, so it looks like we've got a code here. Secure encryption port with holographic display. Data shows required settings for nearby hollow locks. Um, okay, so left, up, left, down, right. Okay, so we want to turn these. Okay, so the first one's left. The second one is... Uh, second one is up. The second one is left. So it's left, up, left, down, right. Okay. That can't be right, though, because there's more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that is right. Okay. So left, uh, left, up, left, and then down, right. Okay. Okay, so we got down... Then we've got uh, right. Done. I should check the door nearby. Okay, that was pretty easy. Scan this. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence. Okay, somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Okay, restore power to the door. Um, okay, do we want to go... Okay, we want to go around there, okay. Um, around this way? Okay. Uh, let's make our way around here. Oh, okay, um... Okay, oh, up the ladder here. Okay, for a second there, I was like, what? Where are we meant to go here? Okay, through the vent. Scan this. Emit a key component of the mid 21st century military hollow lock. Okay, pick Found this up. One. Looks intact. Okay, let's make our way across this beam. Supply crate, metal shards. We'll take as much of this stuff as we possibly can. It's giving us all these supplies, so it's telling me uh, there's probably going to be a boss fight up here at some point. Okay, restore power to the door, so we still need to do that. Um, okay, do we just jump down here? Can we scan this? Nope. Okay. Uh, secure encryption port uh, with holographic display. Okay. Um, we just picked up something. That thing that we just picked up, where do we put that? Um, bear with me one second, guys. I'll figure this out. Okay, install. Okay. That should do the trick. Okay. Now let's get that door open. Uh, this one wants to go left. Then we want to go down, right, up. Okay. So, down, and then right. Is that it? Uh, up, up, left, down, right. Down, right. And then the last one is, yeah, that should be right. No? Oh, they said it was reversed, didn't they? On the um, on the uh, holotape, on the uh, the voice recording. So let's try it opposite. 
Okay, down. Uh, right. Uh, this one's going to be up. So it's going to be down, right, up, left, down. Okay. Left. And then this one's going to be... This one should be down, and this should be it. No? Okay. Bear with me just here one second, guys, while I figure this out. Okay, so let's just keep trying some uh, different combinations here. So, down, um, down, I'm really trying to think here what we're supposed to do. So, down, let's try it the opposite way around, because I'm working from top to bottom on here. I'm going from top to bottom. Let's try bottom to top and see if that works. So, we've got, we, we need to do the opposite as well. So, we've got down, then left. Okay, let's try that. Then we want to try up, right, uh, up, uh, right, then the last one, Door should have power. oh, okay, we've done it, now okay, see what lies beyond it. okay, great, um, we got there in the end, oh, got stuck on a rock here, okay, let's keep making our way up here, okay, the door is... I'm getting confused where the door is now. Um, oh, it's right there. Okay. <laughs> Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there, second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Okay, so we need to kill the Eclipse and uh, find Gaia, the uh, the super AI that's going to restore the world. Okay. Someone here! Okay, taken down. You're finished. Oh shit! What was that? Okay, he's down. Is there another guy? Oh, there's another one hit. Get over here! She's coming! I'm not messing around. Take these guys out. Headshot. You won't survive this. And he's down. Headshot! We need some more arrows here. Okay, is that all of them? Or not. Battle is upon us! Oh shit. Get back in Take out the guy with the machine gun. I can use this. Okay, here we go. Clear. For a moment anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. Hello, I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. As okay. the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. Okay, bit of a uh, college class there on robotics. <laughs> We've got a mission to get onto, so uh, keep going here. Okay, let's see what this guy's got. A notched ancient charm. That sounds pretty valuable, so I'm going to go into my inventory here. And we're going to drop some stuff that's not very valuable. So let's get rid of this stuff here. Um... And let's so, pick up this ancient charm, because that's probably going to be valuable to us. I think this is it, Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it, it's 
seal. More eclipse. Careful now. Okay, let's keep making our way around here. Find the entrance to Sobek's office. Okay. That should give us what we're looking for. The uh, Gaia AI, hopefully. Okay. Do we just want to... Okay, we want to go down here. Welcome to Apollo. The collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. What? I am so glad you. Okay, headshot. Yeah, they're still surprised. Oh, that was great. Stealth kill there. They haven't been alerted to us so far. Okay. Okay, we got him. Okay, let's make our way up this ladder here. Looks like we want to go over. Okay, it looks like we want to head over. No, we want to go back over this direction. That guy wasn't very observant. Look around. See if anything is left. Okay. Make our way through over to here. Welcome to Hades. Zero down to extinction failsafe protocol. Looks like the only way onwards. Through this small little crevice here. Man, I've been caving before. I hate caving. It's so horrible. Worst experience of my life. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. Okay, supply crate. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha. Make sure we're stocked up on our arrows. Facilities. Elizabeth said a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. Okay. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something something about a corrupted alpha registry. Looks like it used to hold something. Some component that got removed. Okay, we're making our way in here. I think we're in the office now. Okay, great. Supply crate. Holy shit, there's a lot of resources in there. Wow. Okay, and it looks like we need to access this. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this... I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. 
Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? Uh, you knew it was wrong. Uh, tried to bore me to death. Um, let's go with Rost. See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts. Haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain. Meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you. Here. So that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be. Predestined and preordained. Uh, you're a puppet, you're a fool, you're a thug. Uh, let's go with you're a fool. You're an idiot. A dangerous idiot. But an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? You're being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine. Not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal sun king to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then you can cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crashed the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the Sacred Land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Uh, they cast me out. Needless slaughter. They're irrelevant. Um, let's go with needless slaughter. 
Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus, such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Karja Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead, and Holy Meridian ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark, night to day. Behold! Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else? Prowl in broad light of day. Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless crushed beneath the hooves of the behemoth. Mighty is the behemoth in the eye of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die! Let her be the first of thousands! Look <laughs> Maybe I could use the strength against it. Ugh. I wasn't built to take a behemoth's charge either. That makes a mess. That pillar is weak. Another hit, and that pillar will come down. Yes, he's hit the pillar. Okay. Okay. Oh shit, this is going bad. Whoa, okay. We need him to hit this pillar over here, okay.
Okay, we've got our weapons. Just a big dumb target. Come and get it. Oh shit. I'm assuming we want to hit the these weak spots on the back. Okay. Yeah, hit these weak points. Whoa, that was close. Oh, damn, this thing's crazy. Yep, keep, keep. Okay, we want to craft some arrows here. Oh my god, this is so close. Okay, we've knocked one of the canisters off. Try and hit the other one off. Oh shit! It's almost dead. And it's dead. <laughs> Can we loot it? So you're here. Really here. You risked your life. Of course I did. If you'd been killed, the Nora Sacred Mountain would never have given up its secrets. Too bad you wasted your time, then. Helis destroyed my focus. And the Alpha Registry with it. Not at all. The whole time I've been monitoring your focus, I duplicated every data file you scanned. Installing that data to a new focus was trivially easy. Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. You're really good at making it impossible to like you, Silence. But I guess I need this. It's time to see where you were born. Maybe you'll even learn why. Yeah. Meet the machine that birthed me into this world. Isn't that how you put it? I'll be off. Wait. Yes? Um, how did you find me? You can override machines. Um, I've got to help the Nora. Uh, let's go with I got to help the Nora. I'll be on my way. To make matters worse, Helis ordered an Eclipse detachment to attack the Nora's sacred land. The tribe's already weak. They won't stand a chance. You should come with me. Well, absolutely not. I have preparations to make elsewhere. What kind of... 
Why do I bother asking? You're not gonna tell me. When the time is right, I'll be in touch. I'll contact you later. In the meantime, should you need to return to Shadow Carja territory, I brought armor to conceal your identity. You think of everything, don't you? One of us has to. Aloy. When you were recovering the Alpha Registry down in the Zero Dawn bunker, I was needlessly cruel. For your sake, I hope there is someone waiting there for you inside the mountain. Not a what, but a who. Yeah! Okay, guys, so mission complete by the look of it. The Terror of the Sun. Completed main quest. Okay, that was a lengthy one there, guys. But it was a great one at the same time. So, let's pull up our map here. Let's make our way down to the campfire here. Okay, we're just going to quickly make our way over here. Yeah, I mean, what a action-packed, lengthy kind of mission we just did. We found out that there was a super AI called Gaia who was going to sort of reseed the world and kind of stop the machine uprising uh kind of bring the earth back from the edge of extinction uh save humanity and uh, dr elizabeth sobeck was responsible for that let's see you catch us okay let's just make our way over to this fireplace yeah silence man he's such a character he makes me laugh so let's save it here okay guys i think this is a great place to uh Okay, that was kind of crazy. Um, I think this is a great place to uh, finish off this episode. Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. It's been a great one. Oh, we're getting attacked here. Let me just finish off these guys and then I can do the... Uh... Okay, let me just get rid of these guys quickly. Oh, that's my mount there. I don't want to take out him. Yeah, like I was saying, guys, um, it's been a great episode. We learned a lot here with Gaia, the super, the super AI. And... Uh, kind of saving the world from the machine uprising and uh it's been great we've learned a lot uh ultimately we need to go forward we need to find um how we were birthed uh how we were born did we come from a machine did we come from a human so we need to find out our origins and we need to learn if doctor um uh the doctor who created the super ai elizabeth sobeck is she our mother or is she someone unrelated we'll have to find out but join me in the next episode guys thanks so much for being here hit that like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content and i will see you in the next video